Hello there, this is JT Herbert, and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. Now we're entering winter in Click Clock Wood. Click Clock Winter, if you if you prefer. And then now these guys have all got like scarves and gloves because it's cold. And fortunately, all these bear traps or whatever they are called are now like died because it's so cold for them. Right now. A suggestion I'd like to make after what happened to me when I last played this game, like a few months ago. Leave getting the honeycomb, empty honeycomb pieces until you've got all the notes. Just, and, and the Jinjo. Just, just trust me on this one, okay? And first off, let's, um, let's go see what Mumbo's up to, actually. Also, watch out for the snowmen throwing their things. The brown balls are frozen over, so it's easy to just walk along this time. I, I heard the ginger. I just had the ginger. Oh, hi, big guy. Where's Mumbo? Mumbo's on vacation, you hairy fool. Come back in spring. Well, fuck you too. Talk shit about me. I beat the fuck out of you. Obviously, I don't actually do that in real life because I'm not like that. Anyway, I think it's is the ginger on top. Yes, it is. It's on top of Mumbo's hut. And there we go. There's the ginger jiggy, which means there's one more jiggy for us to get, which is... Actually, it's the one from Ivy. Of course, it's the one from Ivy, which just means there's empty honeycomb pieces and notes to get. Huh? I really didn't th think there was. <laughs> I thought there was a lot more to winter, but I guess there isn't. In winter, you can actually. Oh god! Did I? I I didn't mess that up. In winter, there's not not as much as I thought. You can fly around the entire thing though, so that's a thing. Uh, where is? I hear. I hear snowman guy. Where's snowman guy? Wait, oh god, oh he's up there. Hey, oh shit. Fuck, watch out. There's, as you can see, Irie up there, but I'll, we'll, we'll get to him later. Come on, I want to take out all these guys, because I know, I think one of them is on the, uh, is on the bitch switch or something. Oh fuck. Oh god. <sighs> always think I've messed up when I do that, because it always looks like I'm going to fly into the, um, ground or something and take damage. Wow, I have so many Eken Pokemon tokens that I don't need. I guess they give you a whole bunch in case you miss quite a lot. Which is fair enough, I suppose. Where are the rest of these? There's a snowman there. Shithead! What? Piss off. Is there one on top of this guy? No, that's just a flight pad. Where are the other ones? Oh, I see one up here. Oh, Nope, that didn't work at all. Come on. There we go. Now this is where the bitch switch is. Cool. So then you just hit this and then that's the bitch switch activated. Giving us access to that chiggy. Which we do need the transformation for, so... I will have to become the bee before I leave the area. Okay, I'll just watch out and don't take too much damage falling. Any damage falling. Okay, I, I could ascend the tree normally, but like... When you've got a flight pad, what's the point, to be honest? It's just like, <laughs> too much effort, it's just easy to fly. I mean, I guess some of this, whoa, whoa, watch it out. Okay, I guess it's, it's worth getting the the notes though, so maybe I, maybe I will just walk up it. Get these notes, you got to do watch out though, because the ground is very slippery. And you very much do not want to fall off the edge because you will fall and take damage, which is not conducive to good health whatsoever. In fact, it's kind of a the opposite. Oh god, I find these it's really nerve-wracking on icy platforms and such. It's fine if you got uh, the Kazooie's like feet though, because for some reason she doesn't have any trouble walking with it. Was there anything in this that I need? You can poke token, don't really need it, but I'll take it anyway. Um, can I get back on top? Please. I thought I was going to slide off there, that was very much not what I would have wanted to happen. Let's try ascending. Let's proceed up. There must be more notes and such. And I know there's empty honeycomb pieces, but I don't want to get them until I've got the notes, because... <laughs> They are fairly difficult. Oh yeah, and as you can see, the whoever built the tree house is like, oh, 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 I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Wait, are there, are there notes on top of the thing? There are. 
Can I get up there without having to... Fuck. Just... No! It's not what I want. No, 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 Oh, oh, my God, that was so close. I think I'll get that later after I fly on top of it because I, I don't think I want to do it, do that again and like actually fall this time. The amount of close calls I'm having here is really scaring the piss out of me. Oh God, there's a, there's a guy there. Fuck you. There is a flight pad here, so I'll. I don't want to risk it. I'm gonna leave that for a little bit later. Grab these notes off you. I think when you're this close, you can't actually. You can't throw snowballs at you, so you're alright. Okay, so that's 692 notes. Let's have a look inside this guy's house and break into him. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Mmm, acorns. Where did she come from? I'm guessing it's supposed to be a she, because it's... I, mean, I don't know, I'm, and I'm guessing they wouldn't, you know. Kind of weird. She never appeared in any of this, just suddenly there, so where the hell was she for the rest of it? Weird. Either way, I'll leave, I'll leave them to their stuff. Don't want to see them getting up to anything naughty. It would have been funny if... Oh, oh! Okay, would have been funny if he was the one called no called Naughty, but no, Naughty was the guy under the water. Is there anything? No. Why did I come in here? There's nothing in here. Right. We need a f few more notes. I know there's a. I are they around Irie? I don't remember. I wouldn't have thought so because there there were notes around Irie in in autumn. Ah, there's some notes. Let's go up there and oh. Hello, Irie. Irie, mighty eagle at last. Watch me as I fly into the sky. So yes, we managed to, like, help nurture this eagle into a majestic creature. It's going to fly off and <laughs> shit out a jiggy for us. I'm not sure I actually want to touch that jiggy now. But I kind of need to because it's actually required. So that's, so that's actually, if, if correct me if I'm wrong, that's 99 jiggies, I think. I think. Let me just check in the totals. 99 jiggies! Yep, so there's literally only one more jiggy to get in the entire game, and that's the one just outside. So, it's, it's gone pretty well. It's gone pretty well. Okay, so, oh god. Watch out. Okay. I'll jump up and grab these notes. I'm sure there's... I'm, I'm missing something. I'm missing four notes. Where are they? Where are they? They're not in there. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll head down to the ground and uh, work out from there. I, I haven't been around the, but around the flower. You can poke on token. Wow, 19 more tokens than needed, really. So I'm missing four notes. Where are they? I'm not actually sure. Should be easy to find, considering I've got a flight pad, though. Dun. Da, 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 da. Right. Oh, they're on top of the house. They're on top of the house. Of course they are. Right. Now it's got to be careful. And land. And immediately... No! How can I... I can't... Why is it... Why is it not letting me use my talon truck? Fuck! Shit! This is annoying. Oh. I am an idiot. Because you can just... Watch out. Stand on top of this guy. Oh, fuck you! Fucking stupid beehive. Stand on top of him. Oh, fucking shithead. I'm pretty sure you stand on top of him and you just... No, that's not right. How the fuck am I supposed to do it? Do I just like... There we go. Okay. That's there and then grab this note and then last note and that's it. That's all the notes in the entire game. 100% of the notes and almost 100% of the jiggies. Now it's just time to get 100% of the honeycomb pieces. Now I'm going to try and get this honeycomb, there's a honeycomb piece back over here. 
I think there was a flight jump pad around. I hope so, because I, I need it. It's a little one. It'll be easy. I'll take out this snowman first, actually. It'll make it a lot easier. Thanks for that. Fucking icy shit. Watch out for this guy as well. I don't want him to knock you off. Die. Then grab this. Just to make life easier, I'm going to take this guy out. Cool. Right, now, this is actually a really difficult thing to get. Last time I tried to get this, I died. Uh, not, not on this playthrough, though. This was on, like... <laughs> That exact thing happened, only I fell, and lost all my health, and died. I don't want that happening. So far, I've not died on this playthrough a single time, and I kind of like it to keep that way. So, basically, you got to line it up, and beak bomb right into the window, and not fall to your death, and then fly in there. That was too fucking close for me, too fucking close for comfort. And in here you'll find a few, a few of these Robin Hood. Fuck you! A couple of Robin Hood guys. Take them, and then where's the? There it is. Empty honeycomb piece. Grab that one. Cool. She leaves one more, which is also in winter. And for this one, I'm going to want to just uh, fall down. Obviously, using feathers so I don't die. And you might have noticed as we came through here, there was a little, I see you, ice block. Can't fool me. Oh, fuck! That's a bit, that was a bit silly. Wait for him to get closer and roll between the two of them. Ha <laughs> ha. That's the way to deal with them, guys. Right, you might have noticed there was a, a chew. I'm not sure if we passed it. Oh, fuck. Let's ignore the other guy. There was a, no, it was down here. There's a little hole in the ice. Now, the thing about the ice, as Grunty will explain to us... Yes, that's right. Swim under there. Icy water takes double air. Yeah, it's the same as the water in Rusty Bucket Bay. It takes double double the air. So what you need to do is swim as quickly as possible. And if you end up going into Naughty's house again... Which is actually a bit... Like, getting there is actually the easy part. Getting back out is the, is the harder one of the two. And it's going to be like... Huh. Cool. I don't usually get visitors in winter. And he has a empty honeycomb piece for us, which we collect, which just completes the last honeycomb, which does absolutely nothing because it doesn't give us an extra honeycomb piece. I don't, honestly, don't know why. Oh well. Either way, let's just that's that's click clock would completed now, so we can actually proceed to the exit. Uh, hopefully, I don't fucking drown because I don't want that. I don't want to soil my perfect record. Oh god, I'm not liking the look of it. Because getting, managing to get into that hole and not getting pushed back under is actually harder than it. There we go. Phew. Cool. So that's every level is apart from Gruntilda's layer, hundred percent so far. So all now what I need to do is enter spring, come out as a bee, and then get the last jiggy in the game and. Then the game, apart from the boss, is 100% complete. So, this is going really well, actually. Really, really well. I'm impressed. I'm impressed with myself, to be completely honest. I think afterwards, I'm going to have a quick layout of, like, how long each level took. Uh, spring, that's where I need to go first. I'll see you after I've got the transformation. And then we get the transformation. Come on. Give me the transformation. Thank you. And now, it's time to be a bee! Wow, that was a terrible joke. Wow, I should hit myself for that. Ow. Ow, actually, that, I hit myself a bit too hard there. <laughs> Whoopsie. Either way, so now that now that we're a bee, we can now just exit the level and grab the last chicky in the entire game. And then we have 100% completed Banjo-Kazooie, other than the boss. Which is actually really... Really not that difficult to be completely honest. I'm not sure, like, I remember back when I first played it, I like, barely f was able to finish it, but now it's like so easy to 100%, I guess that's just... Wow, your best note score for this world is 100, which is the same on every world. And now grab this last cheeky, and... 
10 out of 10, which means every chicky in the entire game, which means every everything in the entire game other than the boss is now 100% complete. If I head into the totals, we can see that in the game total, 900, that's all of them, 100, that's all of them, 24, that's all of them. Only 5 hours? 5, and, five hours and 15 minutes? Wow, that's actually really fast if you ask me. It's not like a speed run or anything, but it's pretty damn quick. Let's have a look how long I spent in each level actually. So so Mumbo's Mountain only took me 13 minutes. This was inaccurate because I had to keep going back to enter codes, so I'd say that was probably more about 20 minutes, just as I guess. Pangs Cavern only 20 minutes. Mumbo Groups on 25 minutes. Freezy Peak 27 minutes. But 25 minutes for Gobi's Valley as well. And 27 minutes for Mount Monster. Wow, that's quick. Only 32 minutes for Rusty Bucket Bay. Wow, that's actually really quick. Uh, so I think so. 51 minutes for Clinton Wood. It's a long level, so that one is a lot longer. And then 15 minutes in Grim Tilda's Lair. So, so yeah. So I think that wraps it up for this episode. In the next episode, I will start preparing for the bus. So I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.